Oh my gosh, you almost fell. Well, hello. Um, today is Saturday, May something. No, June. June eight, and we've got a couple errands to errands to run. I didn't think I'm gonna be um getting mm, mm, more stuffs than I originally planned, but that's okay. We're gonna figure this out. Basically, I'm going to the groceries originally just to pick up uh, honey and honey and eggs because I wanted to make uh like a dessert, like a brownie tonight. But then. My husband's like, you also have to pick up this and this because we're going to do some stuff tomorrow. So I'm like, oh, okay. So we're going to have to figure that out. It's basically just the nacho whatever. So it's like meat, um, taco meat, cheese, tortillas, lettuce, salsa. Like, do I, do I pick up the salsa salsa? Like the one in the jar or... Do we make our own salsa? I don't know. So we are just going to wing this. And before any of that, I will drop off my return parcel to... Um, I will drop it at UPS or UPS because this is from Shein. Unfortunately, I already covered the, the package, but it's white shoes that's around $20 but it's actually really nice unfortunately the sizing their sizing is very small I got the 38 I'm I'm an I'm a US 8 and that's equivalent to like UK 38 or something euro euro 38 but their 38 is for this shoes it's like 36 it's it's too tiny I, I can't even try just by just looking at it he, I can't I can't. Hindi talaga mag fit yung um my 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 feet will not fit in these shoes. Like when when I see it, when I saw it, I'm like, this is not gonna work. Um, thankfully they have free returns and it's not that hard to initiate a return. So we're doing that, and then I also wanted to because the UPS is near Goodwill. You know, we're gonna I'm gonna see if. I'll be able to go um, thrift. And then I want to do a Dunkin' run, like a coffee run at Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Coffee, because I've never had Dunkin' Co Coffee, and my husband is not a fan, so I'm just gonna go by myself and drive through the thing and figure it out. But first things first, I need to organize my logistics so we don't crisscross. I have to know where the nearest Dunkin' Coffee is. Okay, like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm just gonna, um, I'll let my phone figure it out. So, we have to go to, um, Duncan to grab our coffee, UPS, and then Goodwill, Kroger, home. Those are our five destinations for today. Alrighty, I will see you in a few moments. Bye. So, there's the UPS, and we have got that, um, accomplished. And now we're gonna head to Duncan. Okay, my parking is not the best parking ever, but you know what? Who cares? I'm not killing anyone, so my parking is just absurd. And my turns, my turning lane skills is non existent. But anyway, we have to start somewhere, and as long as we're trying to be safe and conscious, and like, okay, I'm making all, the, all these excuses in my head, but yeah. So anyway, I'm trying my best to go up out here and overcome my issues with driving in the city because of all these lanes the turning lanes and all the lights and stuff that I'm not familiar of so I um yeah I should be giving myself a tap in the back although I'm also very anxious at the same time but anyway it is what it is mission accomplished and uh yeah so heading off t heading on heading off heading off to our next stop which is the most important one coffee stop already or it might be green or it might be goodwill i don't know so i don't know where to go from here but we'll see Alrighty, see you in a bit bye okay so i made it to goodwill and i'm in front of like a hardware store but there's goodwill right there and 
yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to be looking for, but probably some clothes. And I'll see if I can take you there. I'm not even really sure. So we'll see. So this is the area. I'm at the parking lot right now. All right, we are back from our thrift shopping. And for a good minute, I actually thought I found a good steal. But then, as I was talking to my husband, sharing to him the story, I just realized it's really not the original Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. But anyway, for the price, I cannot complain. What I'm talking about is this very cute the tote bag um mini medium sized tote bag that's supposedly like the Marc Jacobs tote bag but it's not because it has a name on it but there's no logo that says Marc Jacobs the material itself is fall leather it's actually really nice and the hardware is gold um it's not i don't think this ever got used because it smells like new. It feels like new. The hardware is like almost not. It hasn't been used. So, oh yeah, I, I think I'm gonna use this. Or oh, I think I will. And I did receive um, a bag insert from a brand. I forgot the name of the brand, but when I get home, I'll show it to you guys because this will give us the opportunity to organize our bag and i'm going to be using this bag from next week onward and so it's just perfect and i got this for only dun, 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 dun. oh <laughs> really bad at this for only eight dollars and 99 cents so around nine dollars times 57 that's a less than 500 pesos so for this quality of bag, I cannot complain. I only got one, two, like three items. So one is this bag. The, the other two items are jeans. Just Oh, actually I got four, a total of four. First I grabbed this shorts right here because it's summer and I don't have any shorts. Actually, that fits me. So I needed to grab short a shorts. This is for $4.99 or $5, roughly mga 250 pesos. And I just hope this fits me because I didn't actually take the time to fit this. Because I'm just, like, I hate jeans shopping because it is the most tedious thing to do. To shop for jeans. So I didn't do that. Hopefully it fits. If it doesn't, then I'll give it to my sisters because I believe they are a tad bit like um tinier than me so next up we have this jeans it's a mid-rise jeans skinny jeans um by the brand the rider and i got this for um 7.49 but it's 50 percent off so half than 7.15 i cannot do the math that's what the price um, of this jeans. It's not very thick, so I'm not the big fan. But I got this anyway because it fits me. And maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't. But if I don't, so I'll just um, put this in the box for the Philippines. Because it's like, it's new. It's never been used. And I'm pretty sure it'll fit my sisters. So that's if, yeah, I don't think I'll be, I'll be wearing this. Because... It does not accentuate my butt, but it's new and it's cheap, so I got it. However, this one though, this is a, oopsie, this is a BCBG um, jeans. It's not skinny jeans, it's like a bell-bottom jeans, like apple-bottom jeans, kind of bell-bottom jeans. And this size is, oh god, you know my size, the size is 28 or 7. Okay, it's for high-rise high rise curvy flare. I like high-rise jeans because it hugs and lifts my butt so well. And yeah, but I'm gonna need to... This is also for $7.49. Um, okay, this person is like just randomly low-key looking at me while I'm talking to you guys. But anyway... So, so all in all, yung nagastos natin from... 
our, our Goodwill trip today is $27. That is equivalent to what I exchanged or what I returned to Shein because um, yeah, so girl math, it still feels like I didn't spend anything because I already paid for that, I'm sorry, parcel to Shein and it's just going to be credited, credited back to my credit card. So yeah, you know yung limit ng spending natin today because yeah, we can't just spend and spend. But okay, so far today has been a very good shopping trip day. I wasn't able to take you guys in there because there's a lot of people. And now we are gonna head to Kroger, which is just beside the store. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to park closer. And actually, there's Starbucks right there. I, I mentioned earlier that I wanted to do Dunkin', but Dunkin' is kind of far from here, so we'll see you later. Alrighty, bye! Hello, time check, 3.13 in the afternoon. And I just got done grocery shopping. 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 Saana <sighs> abot. So far today, I think we spent about $100 already and we didn't really get a lot because out of the $100, because everything here is expensive. So, so um, for today's Kroger run, our total is $73.31. And total Kroger savings is 17.91. So originally it's like um it's like 90 something dollars, but because my husband is a member of Kroger, so we are able to get that discount. But let's see what we've got. I'm gonna show you a very quick grocery haul because this is not the usual grocery run that we do. This is just what we need for the moment. Alright, so first bag, I I got uh, some tortilla wraps. This one is a diet wrap. This is what we usually use for our lunches. And then this one is going to be for tomorrow. This is a corn, corn tortilla wrap. And then we have like the regular flour wrap. So there's that. Um, the keto one is about $5, the diet wrap. And these tiny ones... Um, they're for $2.49. Okay, my husband's calling me. Hello? Hey, you want back? Yes, I just finished um, loading the groceries. And I'm gonna drive home now. Alright, love you. You're ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. And then I got us a honey. The honey is like three or four dollars and then some taco seasoning for tomorrow and i also picked up two shredded bags of lettuce i think the three something dollars each this one is the chicken broth i think it is very important to have like chicken broth or beef beef broth at home because just because you know i like to cook my sabao but the rest of it is back there, so probably I'll show you later a little bit of a glimpse. We are going to a Texas Roadhouse for a late lunch, and I need to head home because everybody's ready. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. Bye!